Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. Today is Christmas. Guys, it's Christmas, so Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. I hope you can spend the holiday with your family and people that you care about, friends, whoever it is. Make sure you go out there and spend some time with the people that you care about. So, in the spirit of the holiday, we have a whole bunch of Christmas trees lined up here. And I was really hoping that somebody would see that and drop some Santa surprise on them, but that didn't happen. So instead, we're going to do some giveaways and give some stuff to you guys. So we have gift cards. I got a stack of gift cards. I'm going to have all the details on how you can get a chance to win those. And we're going to run this contest for probably about three days. So we'll end up on the 27th of December. So Make sure you follow the instructions there. I'll go over that in just a moment, but we have a war going on as well, guys. We are one attack away from going to a perfect war. All Town Hall 13, 30 versus 30, and I'm gonna do some uh, P.E.K.K.A. Smash. It's uh, Christmas, I don't wanna plan. I don't wanna do anything crazy. I just want a simple attack that I can go crush completely max Town Hall 13. So let's go make it happen, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and when we do this uh, giveaway here, these uh, gift cards, they don't necessarily have to be spent on Clash of Clans, but if you spend them on Clash of Clans, or if you're just spending your own money, then don't forget, if you buy any of these packs or your gold pass or anything at any time, go into your settings tab, go all the way down to the bottom and use creator code ERIC here. And if you do that within seven days of making that purchase, It'll make so 5% of it will go to the channel here. So a great way to give back and help me fund these giveaways. I'd like to do more of these. So if you're using that, it helps out a lot. All right, guys, let's go get into action here. And uh, we're going to do one attack. Then we'll talk about how to win the giveaway. And then we'll go do the other attack. Let's go check it out. Well, it looks like Sebix is taking the first swing in it, and he's going in with a Queen Charge Lalo. And it looks like he wall broke into that single Inferno there. We're a little bit late on this, but he's trying to save this Queen from that single Inferno, and she gets away from it. She gets away from it. So I thought it was going to go drastically bad here, but he can still recover this. Let's see what he can do here. He's got the Hogs, like we were saying, but the Queen Charge against the single Inferno. One small mistake could end it, and he's still working his way through here. He's got the eagle striking down on the queen here. He's got the royal champion and the warden with the hogs. Only 23 hogs here. So don't get a ton to work with, but this queen is walking right into that single inferno over there. I don't know if this is going to happen for him. He's going to keep on going though. He's not going to give up. He's got the stone slammer coming in on the opposite side to go in and try to get at that single inferno. So he's got the hogs and a couple of balloons in it, which is actually going to work out quite nice there. He gets the single inferno down and the hogs die out after that. So the queen pretty much done, but she's going to be stuck in the trash out there for a while so he gets the eagle down into the town hall area town hall's activated he has somewhat decent pathing into it no all the hogs that were going to it looks like they died out so sebix can't quite close it can't quite close it so hogs ah, i'm starting to second think they're second think wanting to do hogs on this one i'm thinking maybe i'm gonna do the yeti smash on it i wonder if the yetis can hold up to all those singles what do you guys think can it do it can the Yetis hold up to all those single Infernos? If I do like basic funnel, nine Yetis, quad quake open the core, just jump in. I can have the Siege Barracks to reinforce with some a whole bunch of firepower from some wizards and some a P.E.K.K.A. Just one P.E.K.K.A. I think it should be enough. I think it should be enough there. And all the Yeti might there would be going crazy all over the place. And maybe we could get it. Maybe we could get it. But right now, Sebix ain't gonna happen for him. Ain't gonna happen for him. He's going to the one star. Queen did not want to cooperate. And as you saw there, uh, she didn't go in the wall break. All right. I think I'm up. I think I'm up. And I'm quite convinced that I can take it down with Yetis, actually. So I see a spot where I can form a relatively easy funnel here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Yeti smash right into the core of the base here. I'm going to go right through the town hall. I'm going to jump basically on this wizard tower here. And that will give me access all the way to the clan castle compartment. And then I can quad quake all of this open around this eagle artillery hitting all of these very very high hit point structures and open up access to all the single infernos guys so let's let's think about this because i can funnel out here there's no teslas right there we already know there's a bunch of teslas over in this corner but if i put my king it's a live attack it's a live attack oh neon's just attacking low <laughs> she can't attack anywhere else she's just going for loot there all right so we will go with my king to fight off the enemy king and take out these buildings here that should form a decent amount of funnel there he's probably not gonna last too much longer after that maybe i could 
get him to walk towards the funnel here. Like if I start him in the archer tower, let him fight the king, and then he would uh, then surge out for, over to the elixir storage and then continue around the corner here. Maybe we could do that. And then we could save my king from that single inferno. And then he could join up with the rest of the group here. They could all charge in through here. I think we can make that happen. I think we can. And uh, where's the hogs going to come out? Because depending on exactly where I put my siege barracks, the hogs are going to release and they're going to go to one of the flanks here. So I'm thinking I want them to go over to this flank rather than the left flank because I have the Tesla farm over here. So if I can send my royal champion through the Tesla farm, then that would work really well. Or the hogs could come in on this side over here and they could go and the Royal Champion probably get engaged by the main group there, so she'll probably be down. But I might have some uh, just uh, some straggling defenses over here in the Hogs. If I deploy the Siege Barracks up by the army camps here, then they should go over to this side and start to wrap around the bottom of the base here. Going into the single Infernos and helping out with that. But ultimately, my... My Royal Champion would be ending on the opposite side of the map here into the Tesla farm. And if I, if I uh, have my Royal my Royal Champion ability there, then I can pop it right into the Tesla farm and take out all the Tesla farm and save myself from all the traps in the area. All right, let's make this happen, guys. Let's make it happen. You ready? Give it up on the hogs. We're going with the Yetis and we're going live. In three, two, one. Let's go. Can't turn back now. Can't turn back now. So let's go with the uh, baby dragon up here. Put the king right here. We'll even throw a wizard with him. Why not? All right. Uh, let's get the uh, king ability. Let's uh, switch to a siege barracks here before I forget. And let's send in yetis, healers, ice golem, queen, warden, and jump. Got a CC pull. Let's get a rage down. So we enter in the base. Oh, siege barracks. Almost forgot it. <laughs> did I forget my Coco Loon? I did. Let's see if we can get another one down. Blood Quake. Another rage. Bow Warden. All right. Let it all rip through. Let's go. As soon as those hogs release, I'm going to send my royal champion with the group with the hogs. So where are they going to go? Let's watch the hogs. Here they come out of the siege barracks and they're going directly into the base here. So let's send the royal champion over here and we will heal. Oh, pop my queen. Where's she going? Let's uh, heal. Uh, not yet. We don't need to heal just yet. He's got a couple of wizards to follow down that group. Got that eagle still standing. That's hurting me really badly. Uh, let's heal here. And... All right, what happened to all my yetis? All my yetis are dead? I think all my yetis are dead. That's not good. That's not good. Royal Champion is uh, doing okay for now. My queen. Oh, we're at the popper ability. We're at the popper ability there. That'll get us through almost a single inferno. This is this is rip. This is not going to happen. Ah, oh, single infernos, guys. Single infernos. I thought maybe the yetis could handle the singles, but apparently not. Apparently not. You got to get that eagle down quick. The eagle stays standing. It just tears you apart. Tears you apart. Oh, man. What's my warden doing here? He's going to keep on marching there for another minute. Nothing can really threaten him a lot other than this archer tower, I guess. All right. There we go. 80-something percent here. Not enough. Not quite enough. Yetis? Didn't have the push I was hoping for. Maybe I should have mixed some Pekka's in. I don't know. Hard call. Maybe more healers? Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Guys, I messed up. I completely forgot that I only have level one yetis. It's the last troop that I have not upgraded yet. And they're the best troop right now. They're crazy and I want to get them upgraded, but they're not there yet. And I completely forgot to use a power potion. So we probably would have perfected that war if I would have used a power potion. That attack was relatively close. In fact, it went a lot further than I thought it was to at the end, but with a few more Yeti Mites out of every single Yeti and all those Yetis surviving just a little bit longer, maybe they would have survived that initial push and broke out of the base, but we won't be able to find out now because we're out of attacks. 
Uh, everybody has attempted that base and everybody has failed. It's the only base that is still standing and it is stopping us from getting the perfect war. So we have one more attack guys. We have one more attack and this one kind of inconsequential because we uh, can't attack that same base. So we have to attack one that's already been tripled and I'm going to use the four Pekas and five Yeti combination that we showed on the channel the other day because it's Christmas and I kind of want to take it easy. And so we're going to do a simple attack and one that doesn't require a lot of planning. It's still a close to max base, so hopefully we can break it down. But first, let's talk about this giveaway, guys. So I realized that we have a relatively low social media following. I haven't really been pushing it that much. Maybe I've occasionally I'd mention it, but this is the first time we're doing a true giveaway on the channel. And we're like we're up to like 85,000 subscribers and we have less than a thousand people following us on Twitter, on Instagram and on Facebook. And so I want to bump those numbers up. And so what we're going to do is as soon as this video goes live, in fact, if you're watching this right now, then the post is already live and you'll have three days before I choose the winners. So go onto each of those platforms, Twitch. No, not Twitch. You can follow me on Twitch too. There's a link for that in the description, but Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Follow each of them, like the page on uh, Facebook while you're there, and uh, go to the post and I want you to put a comment on it. Put a comment on it. And that's it. Just put a comment on it. And the comment, don't beg. If you're begging, I'm just going to skip over you. But we're going to choose two people from each of them and we're going to do a $5 giveaway. Then we're going to take everybody who put a comment on the on each of those and I'm going to put them all into a hat from all three platforms and then we'll do two more drawings for $20 gift cards. So if you follow me on all three, then you have a chance to win the $5 one and the $20 one. And the more platforms you follow me on, the more chances you have to win the $20 one, the big one. So make sure you go to all three platforms. There's links for them all in the pinned comment and in the description of the video. And then you can get your chance to win some. It's literally just free money for you. <laughs> but to help fund these guys, don't forget to use code Eric whenever you buy in-game purchases here, especially if you buy these packs. So now let's uh, let's go get into this attack. Let's go get into this attack. Let's do it. I could go in and take out this eagle on my way through as I pass the town hall, or I could go in through the town hall and then go towards the eagle. Ah, oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. I could open up a massive amount of the base here with my uh, quad quake though. So. I don't know. Let's go give it a shot here. We're not going to we're not going to think about too much. I just this is a really spammy attack here and I feel like I could just smash this base. So let's just hit it. Let's just hit it. Here we go. We're live. We're not thinking about it. We're just going. So we're just going to do it really, really freaking simple here. We're just going to put the uh, Pekka Pekka King put Pekka Pekka and we're just going to go with a uh, jump right. Jump right there and we'll go. Ice Golem, Yetis, Siege Barracks, Queen, Warden, and let's go in. Here we go. Let's get a Quad Quake right about there. Get a Rage down, and here we go. We're into the base. Let's get a Poison for the Hound going to pop here, and should be good. All right, so charging in here. We got another Rage here. This time, this time. I have level three yetis. <laughs> it's gonna make a big difference. Let's pop that ward ability as we charge into the core here and we should have hogs coming out soon. Where are they gonna go? Where are they gonna go? Where's my yetis? They're in there still? Oh, they're in there. They're just frozen up. Our yetis are going to the, or I mean, hogs are going to the top side. Let's get a couple of wizards. Oh, I forgot my healers. Let's send the healers with the hogs. Let's send the healers with the hogs. Uh, <laughs> all right, can we still get that? Let's get a heal in the middle because I don't have any healers. Yeah, that's a, uh, that was smart. That was smart. We're doing a, I guess we're doing a, we're doing a Royal Champion charge here, huh? We're doing a Royal Champion charge, huh? All right, uh, let's get a Coco Loon here because I don't know what's out there. I got to protect my healers though. Let's get a couple archers around the edge of the bay here. If I triple this, guys, if this triples, I swear, if this triples, it's going to be absolutely crazy here. My uh, queen is going to hopefully get through some of the heroes here. Actually, we turned into a queen charge here. So let's pop, pop my queen here to get through that royal champion. And I still have my royal champion. So let's, um, can I pop her ability? I can. I can pop her ability right here, get through all these arch towers and get the king uh, damage off of there. So hopefully we get the king down here quick. Can we get, can we triple this? 
I swear, if we triple this, it's going to be up. I forgot to drop my healers, guys. I completely forgot to drop my healers. I think we're going to get it. The Royal Champion can clean up the rest of these by herself. She has enough health, and we have enough cleanup on the board here. The Wizards are circling around the outside. Steve, do, do you even need to try this attack? Do you even need to try with this attack? We took out their number two effortlessly, and those level three Yetis made a big difference here. Wow. Yep. That happened. That happened, guys. Who needs healers? Who needs healers? <laughs> oh my god, this attack is so broken. Oh, I'm getting kicked off. I'm getting kicked off. Well, guys, we got the triple. It wasn't exactly how I planned it. I planned to drop my healers with the group that needed them, but whatever. I guess we don't need it. The heal got them through, and we swapped over and put the healers on the hogs instead, and it, it kind of worked out. It kind of worked out. So, we're gonna get out of this one with just one triple today. It should have been a second triple there, but unfortunately, they got away with that one. So don't forget to enter the contest, guys. And don't forget to go into your trader here and pick up all of your free stuff. I'm gonna use some of this today because I need to get more stuff. Oh, why is it still popping up there? Oh, I thought it was I thought the book was still showing there. I was like, oh, do I get a second one? I do not. I do not. So get yours and uh join the contest here follow me on twitter facebook instagram and pick up some packs here use code eric all right guys uh that's gonna be it for today thank you so much for coming out and joining me and i had something else to say uh i can't remember wait a second oh yeah that's right uh so the creator of that strategy is actually from one hive so that strategy originated from none other than one hives sga net and sga net he sent me a christmas present guys he sent me a christmas present he sent me a one hive custom hat so how cool is that and we might actually have some uh one hive stuff like this available in a merch store coming soon so keep an eye out for that we're still working out the details on that but i need to i need to put this on let me get this on right now Lose my University of Utah hat. That's where I went to college. And we're hooking it up with the One Hive hat. Boom. I love it. I love it. That'll go nice with my jersey on top of that. And look at that. It matches right up there. Matches the One Hive symbol at the top of my overlay here. So perfect. All right, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Go out there and spend some time with your family. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.